Now, in these charts, the antenna is basically designed to be placed at the center. We look at it in two different ways. We have the H plane, which uh, this is the H plane over here. I'll put an H in case it's not as easy to see, which is looking down at the top of the antenna. And what you aren't really seeing very well is, you know, there is a little line here that's showing me the, uh, the strength of that signal uh, from that relative location looking straight down. And then the E view, the elevation, we're looking at it from the side. It's as though the antenna were right, right here, and you're looking at it straight from the side to see what the uh, areas of coverage, the H again, like I said, is the top down. So when you look at it and you start seeing these numbers, and these numbers are representing the strength of the signal that we would expect, uh, and of course in which direction, because if we had a uh, highly focused or uh, directional antenna, you would see something completely different. Uh, this as an example from uh, the top view, looks like it's an omnidirectional antenna because we see this coverage going all the way around. And uh, when we look at it from the side, what we're seeing from the side is the uh, coverage, um, you know, uh, if it, this was your office. So maybe your office, the roof and the ceiling is right here, and here's your walls, and you're getting an idea of the coverage. The problem is, when I drew something like this rectangle to represent your office, you might actually think by looking at this chart that you're going to be able to cover the entire building with one access point. When in reality, well, and I don't want to mess up everything, the office might actually be much bigger because like I said, these uh, charts are showing you the relative, right? How close is the flashlight to my hand? And, you know, most of our coverage is designed to be uh, from side to side, but some of that signal could, depending on where you place this, um, be found or, or seen from the people at the floor above you, or it could be uh, the people at the floor below you. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of showing you the relative signal strengths. And remember, this chart's going to be the same whether I'm, I say I'm using uh, 50 milliwatts or I'm using 100 milliwatts. And we just went through a bunch of math in a, in a different location of, of this course. If it's 200 milliwatts, well, what am I saying? that when we start adding power, we're going to get effectively more physical distance. But the shape and pattern of the signal is still going to be the same. So these numbers don't represent how many feet or meters away or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't represent the actual strength of the RF signal. It is just showing you the pattern of coverage that you would have at whatever uh, intensity or, uh, or uh, signal strength that you're using.